Would you like to get more bang for your buck by increasing your AMD CPU's performance whilst also lowering your overall temps and energy consumption? Well, if yes, then this is the right video for you. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do all of this completely free of charge by using one single piece of software. Just before I do though, if you guys enjoyed today's video and find it to be useful, then be sure to smash the like button down below. And if you guys wanna see more of my content, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. As always, I'll leave timestamps down below in the description so you guys can skip to whatever you'd like to see. So. What are we doing today exactly? Simply put, we are going to be undervolting and optimizing our CPU cores. Now, if you'd like to know what exactly undervolting is and how to do it manually, I'll leave a link down below in the description to some useful information about it. But we're gamers. We don't have time to be doing all of this manually. And we're AMD users, so we're smart. I present to you all the Ryzen Master software, your one-stop shop to optimization. For starters, let's get it installed. What you want to do is click on the second link down below in the description, which will take you to this site right here. Once you're there, scroll down and click on the download now button. Once you've downloaded the software, simply install it. And if you're requested to restart your computer, then make sure to do so. And now that you've got the required software installed, let me show you how to use it. Simply open up the application as administrator, allow it to initialize, and then click OK on this warning tab. Don't worry, we aren't going to be taking any risk today, but feel free to read through the warning if you'd like. Also note that this is obviously official software released by AMD themselves, so you're safe to run it. Once the software is fully launched, you should see something like this. If not, and you're seeing something like this, simply click on the basic view option in the bottom left. On this page, you'll see a bunch of information like the type of CPU you have, your CPU temperature, clock speed, and voltage. However, what we want to focus on is the curve optimizer mode. Here, you'll be given three options, off, all cores and per core. For you, this option will automatically be set to off as we have not optimized or undervolted our CPU yet. There is, however, two ways of going about it. You can either optimize all your cores at once by using the all cores option, giving them the same averages across the board. Or you can optimize every core individually by using the per core option. I personally suggest using the per core option. It takes a little longer, but provides better performance and stability compared to optimizing all of your cores at once. You see, not all of your CPU cores can operate the exact same. Some may be able to take lower voltages than others, and if they all run on the same average, it can cause instability. You can, of course, just test this out for yourself. Once you have decided which of the two options you'd like to use, simply click on the option and then click on Start Optimizing. You will then be given a prompt. I don't suggest changing anything here if you don't know what you are doing. Simply click on OK and the process will begin. Now you may see your CPU temps, overall clock speed, and voltage drastically increase. You may also see your computer randomly restart. This is all perfectly fine and nothing to worry about as the Ryzen Master software is basically stress testing the crap out of your CPU in order to find the CPU's limit and minimum requirements. Depending on which option you have chosen and what CPU you have, this could take anywhere from 30 minutes to a couple of hours, although it doesn't tend to really take that long. I also highly suggest closing any and all other programs while you are doing this to provide the best results. Once the process is complete, you'll be given another prompt. Now, because I'm an idiot who forgot to record and I don't want to redo this entire process, I'll simply explain what to do. First of all, click on OK for the given prompt. Then click on Apply to apply the new settings or click on apply and test to apply and test the CPU stability. Once you've done that, you'll be requested to restart your computer. So do exactly that. And just like that, we have undervolted and optimized our CPU. I'm no tech gig, so I can't give you a complete breakdown of how much performance I managed to gain out of this. What I can say, however, is that the performance increase was significant. My PC feels smoother and my games run much more stable. My overall CPU temps have also decreased. On idle alone, the temps have gone down from 55 degrees average to around 46 degrees, and this is due to the software straight up putting some of the cores to sleep if they are needed. You can also to find a lot of specific information by clicking on the advanced view button. I'm talking everything from separate core speeds to writing latency. It's crazy. And that's all she wrote, folks. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and informative. And again, if you did, be sure to smash that like button down below as it really helps out my content. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my new stuff. Until next time and much love. Peace.